Hello and welcome to the third episode of Should Have Been a Vita Game. Today I want to talk about a game that should have came to the Vita, but didn't. It came to the 3DS instead, and it didn't really make much sense, because that game is Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. The game should have come to Vita because before the game released, all Persona games in the franchise were all associated with PlayStation platforms, so it was very odd and very different for it to come to a Nintendo platform. It was actually the first time the Persona series had come to a Nintendo console of any sort. It was a unique uh, game. It was more like a dungeon crawler, but it still had like Persona-like uh, like battle system. The game had a brand new art style. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it. I kind of liked it. It was more cutesy and uh, more cartoony looking. So the game got announced a couple years prior along with three other Persona games, which were Persona 4 Dancing All Night, which came to the Vita, so that was nice and uh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimix, and Persona 5, of course. This one was the most odd out of the bunch, but it was also one of the most ambitious Persona games considering how different it was. I would still love to see this game come to Vita in the future. I know it's probably not possible. Uh, Atlas probably has deals with Nintendo, but I thought the same thing about Kingdom Hearts, which was on 3DS and ended up making its way to consoles, so maybe in some distant future we could see Persona Q on Vita, it'd be awesome. It's a good game, I have it on 3DS, I bought the collector's edition that came with some cool cards, it was nice, but I, I don't really like playing games on 3DS, and I know a lot of people get mad at that, I just don't really like the hardware, it seems kind of like a toy, I don't know. Anyway, leave some comments below, tell me some other games you wish would have come to Vita, and hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, I'll talk to you later. Mishiro no